did not, aban did not ban abortion. They said there is no constitutional right to abortion and left it up to the states to decide. The majority also did not set up other rights to disappear. They explicitly, including Alito and a concurring opinion from Justice Kavanaugh, they explicitly said abortion is unique. Mike, what say you here and the outrage from the left? Yeah, look, uh, for some reason, this is their uh, this is their sacred cow. And I, I even Ruth Bader Ginsburg famously said that the law behind this was on shaky ground. Um, uh, look, if you if you can't win legitimately, you criticize the legitimacy of the other person's victory. Um, th like th the left is talking about the problems with the Supreme Court, but they're not talking about um, the crisis pregnancy centers getting bombed, firebombed all over the country. Um, we are we are on banana republic territory with the way the Justice Department is going after people who looked into election fraud mm -hmm. and now doing nothing about the doxing and intimidation right. of Supreme Court justices. And this poll saying 59% of Americans disapprove overturning Roe versus Wade, then why can't they pass a law? Right. It's it's a it's a fake well, call, because uh, as soon as people are aware that uh, right. the health of the baby, health of the mother, uh, rape and incest accounts for about three uh, percent of all abortions. And then uh, we have some of the most liberal rules up until now across the entire world. It's it's outlawed in most places uh, 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 in the Western world after 20 something weeks. What well, once people are informed of this and you start talking about third trimester abortions, uh, it, it's about 65 or 68 percent. Right. Uh, Let, disapprove of that. So it, it's um, a lot of gaslighting going on, if you will. Vice President Kamala Harris receiving some backlash from people conservative. President Biden is pushing for a f for fully investing in clean energy at the G7 summit. You say a move to uh, quote all green energy would mean mass famine, and the world would resemble the Stone Age. Explain, sir. <laughs> Well, Dagan, uh, right now, wind and solar makes up about 8% of the U.S.'s energy base. This, despite a $2.6 trillion investment over the last decade into uh, wind and solar renewables. <clears throat> if they were talking about a massive move to nuclear, maybe you could take them seriously. But right now, fossil fuel energy makes up 82% of the energy base of the United States. And so to try to move off that um, would mean the supply chain would break down. Most of the country would have no sorts of reliable energy. Energy costs would skyrocket. You'd have hyperinflation. Um, but basically, You'd, you'd kill uh, tens of millions, if not billions of people right. across the world if we moved to an all green uh, energy. And so as a result, um, the energy curve is in backwardation, meaning it, it costs more to buy oil today than it does tomorrow based on a supply demand issue. The price of oil is grossly inflated right now because of the hostility towards fossil fuels from this administration. And based on Biden's comments talking about moving to all renewables, I don't see that changing anytime soon. Uh, you've seen energy and energy stocks sell off dramatically over the last few weeks. It's my opinion that's not from a fundamental structural change. That's a lot of hedge funds out there meeting redemptions, selling the biggest winners year to date. And so mm -hmm. I'd say it's a good opportunity to invest there. Um, you, you know, they talk about uh, climate change. If you believe that the one degree Celsius increase in temperature we've seen over the last 100 years is a direct result from CO2 emissions from fossil fuels, Please explain to me how that's a threat when climate deaths are down 98% over the same period of time, largely due to technology available as a result of fossil fuels. This move to green energy is a farce. It makes the rich richer, the poor poor, and it is just insane. And so when you hear people like Yellen or Biden saying it, you know they are partisan hacks. And, and if they don't know how ridiculous these statements are, they you shouldn't be out. taken seriously on anything else either. You left out Jenny Granholm, and I just just before we go, Mike, I'll note that Tesla, Ford, and General Motors have all raised their electric vehicle prices because costs are growing. And so, the say you. Yeah, um, look, look, Joe Biden, as long as he's been had positions of power in the government, he's been shaking down favors for money for his family. First it was his brother, and now it's his son. Um, it, it's it, it, it just it's beyond 
comprehension how everybody is it totally and completely up in arms over this. It's not as if Hunter Biden drank a little too much or had partied a little too much and got a little out of hand. No, the guy had a crack problem to the degree where every single one of his teeth had to be replaced. Okay, And somehow during that period, he's securing um, million dollar deals with Ukrainian gas companies, getting a billion and a half dollar commitments from the Chinese Investment Corporation Okay, after in his in his private equity fund, after never being involved in private equity in his life, and somehow we're just supposed to look the other way, as if this is anything other than influence peddling. Um, it, it's it's so egregious, and it's right in front of our face. Um, you know, it's it's the uh, administrative state saying to everybody, you know, there are one set of rules for us, and there's one set of rules for you, mm-hmm. and if you question it, uh, we're going to show up on your doorstep. Like Jeffrey Clark last week uh, from the for the Justice Department official, right. um, or Kelly Ward in in Arizona. If you question us, we're going to turn your life upside down and ruin you. So we're going to do whatever we want. And if you don't like it, you can go pound sand. Uh, real quick, Mike, we still are waiting for the outcome of this a tax fraud investigation by the Justice Department. But again, that despite the grand jury being in Delaware, it's being run out of Washington, D.C., uh, Department of Justice headquarters. And so we'll, whatever comes of that, but we do know that Hunter Biden had his sugar bro, a law- some lawyer out in Los Angeles, like sugar daddy, but his sugar brother, pay off the outstanding tax debt, hoping that that would um, kind of wipe away that case, potentially. Yeah, well, look, you know, typically, uh, unless you're in some sort of scheme to defraud the government, you just underpay your taxes uh, or make a mistake in your tax return, that's typically civil. Um, The only people that get criminally prosecuted again for this are uh, executives at uh, the Trump Organization. Um, Those are the only ones that face criminal charges for this. So unless you're in a massive scheme to defraud the U.S. government, uh, these are typically civil. So if Hunter Biden gets normal treatment, he'll just pay penalties and fines. You know, that's that's par for the course, I guess. Again, unless you're a finance Mm -hmm. executive in the Trump administration, that's the only way they'll go after you criminally. Coming up. Thank you both. Markets bouncing back after last week's decline. 